Hey guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Thank you for your great response on our new uh, Kotlin series. So today we'll be seeing functions in Kotlin. We want to follow the documentation process. Like we want to go to the official site and then explore what's there. So that's why I'm just showing you this website for now. So basically today we'll see functions in Kotlin. You know that in the previous tutorials, we learned about var and val. Now we'll be looking on functions. So what, how do we declare a function in Java is first we explore and then we see how we can create functions in Kotlin. So basically if I want to print something, so and here the method does not return me anything. So I'm just putting it as void and I say print me. So, so I say print my name and that's it. So, and I say system.out.println and say, so this is the method that I have and I want to call this method from my main method. So I can just say like print my name. So I make it as, so I want to call this method print name. So I'll make it as static. Okay. So now I can call print my name. So basically what I'm trying to do is from my main method, instead of calling hello and all, instead of calling so what I'm trying to do now is basically instead of calling hello and my name, I just want to print my name calling a method. So in Java, we know that we create a method by telling what is the return type of the method. And then I'm just trying to print my name here. So we'll just see the same example in Kotlin. But before that, I just wanted to show you how do we do this using Kotlin. So now I just run my program. You can see the page is getting printed. So in Kotlin, how do I do the same thing? So basically I have a function fun main. So if I want to create another function, so I can say fun and I say print my name. The same thing. However, so one important thing that we have to notice in Kotlin is we use a keyword called fun to declare the functions. Like to write a function, we started using a keyword called fun. So now you can see the difference like uh, it starts with fun keyword and my uh, name is same as Java, but I have capital name here. So I make the same. So now I want to print my name. So I say Deepesh. Okay. So now I don't have to have a semicolon. But one important difference between uh, the Kotlin and Java is I have a written type for my method in Java. So if you want to specify any written type, you can specify it. But if you feel that, uh, but if you, if, if you don't specify it, default it returns nothing. So if you want to say like it has to return nothing, then in Kotlin, we use a class called unit, which is similar to void in Java. So in Kotlin, if a method is not returning anything, you can tell it has unit. So it means that it does not return anything. So that's about it. So now let's run the program. Now print my name. Okay, this is good. And then I would like to run this run. You can see hello world and the page because I have so because I have hello world here and then the page. So now we'll be seeing how to pass parameters to this method and you know how to print the values by consuming the parameters. So we'll be exploring more on this going forward. So firstly, I just wanted you guys to understand the difference between uh, how do we write uh, a method in Java as well as in Kotlin. I feel now you guys are understanding the difference between the methods, how it is declared in Java and Kotlin. So now next we'll see how do I pass some parameters and then how do I print it? So basically if I want to pass my name from my main method, I can pass it. Then who collects is here is basically like I can declare name, but now again, the difference is you cannot declare the data type to the left of it. Rather you have to print it to the right of it. So I say string. Now you have declared it as string. Now we, let's see like what happens. Now in Kotlin, if, if the method has to accept some uh, parameters, so basically uh, we are declaring the type string and we are just passing the string. So what happens if I didn't, don't pass the data type? So now we have a problem. See, like it doesn't know what type of data that you are passing here. So we declare it using string. Now you, if I print it, you'll be able to see the output like hello Deepesh. So I'm just passing Deepesh to this method. So I'm just passing Deepesh to my method. And then this is how I print. Now, 
In case like, as I told you, the null safety operator, which is question mark. In the first video, I've told the question mark has an operator, but it is a null safety operator basically uh, used in Kotlin. So, so now if I want to pass null from my method, there, there might be some chances I pass null. In this case, it says, no, you cannot pass null. So now I just add this null safety operator. You can see the difference, like you don't have anything. Method can accept a null. So basically, whenever you feel that a method can have null, it's very important to add the null safety operator. So now I print it, but it doesn't make any sense because I'm passing null and it would be hello world null. So, but I just want you guys to see the difference. Like if I don't put this null safety operator, like a question mark, then uh, it does not let me uh, pass any null. So as a programmer, you don't make any mistakes uh, by like declaring it has null. So now we can see how can we pass multiple parameters to my method. So basically I've just passed string. So if I want to pass integer, so I say a number, my number. So how can I declare that? It's int, int. So I can also pass int. So again, I cannot pass null because it does not let me unless I put it as question mark. Okay. So now it can pass null, but I really don't need to pass null because I want to pass my name. So I'll pass my name, Deepesh, and, and this will be collected in name. And then I want to pass my number, that is number. So I just print, print ln. So I say print ln and my number. Now I have passed uh, two numbers, 900, 900, 900. Let's see like whether we'll be able to do it. So it says something like, expected int okay okay so i just had to uh, reduce the numbers because it was an integer so now we can just see how i can pass so now we can see the output like i'm just passing deepesh and my number and this is how we pass arguments to the function so these these are my two arguments that i pass to this method or my function and then this is how i print it so in kotlin uh, we have a special uh, way of defining a default value to the parameters that for the function parameters. So if you want to have some default value like 900 and if in case like I don't want to pass this, still uh, my method would be taking it. So uh, so if I, I can have a default uh, value for my method, so I can, so this is not allowed in Kotlin. So in Kotlin, you can declare a default value in the function parameter, but in Java, it's not allowed. So basically I have 900, so I'll just run it and let's see the output whether it still works yes but in case you want to post some other value like 8999999 and then we'll see what happens so now i just want to pass a different value and let's see what happens like you can see 8999 so the idea is like if you want to have a default value set to the function parameters you can do it in kotlin but in java it does not allow you so this is one of the important thing that you have to notify while passing values to a function parameter in Kotlin. Thank you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see more on classes, uh, inheritance, abstraction. So the idea is to move on to higher end concepts of Kotlin like lambdas, uh, functions, inheritance, uh, polymorphism and seal classes and how do you do enum classes. So these are the object oriented concepts that I want to concentrate in Kotlin. So we'll just wrap up for this video and we'll be looking on to conditional functions for loop by loop if conditions going forward. Thank you. Please stay updated. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.